Today on Dylan Talks Tone, we're going to talk about soldering pots into your guitar. How's it going? My name is Dylan. This is Dylan Talks Tone, and this is a guitar channel, and a tone channel, and a music channel. We talk all about how to make it easier for you to create music. We do a lot of guitar tech stuff, we do a lot of how-to stuff, and today, this is one of the videos in our series about how to solder. I think in the last one, we talked about how to replace a switch and what to look for there. You can check that video out. We'll put one of those clicky boxes right there. So let's go ahead and talk about soldering a pot into our guitar. We're going to be using our Weller soldering iron over here. I've got it heated up already to about three and a half. You can find the solder and the soldering iron that we like to use around here and that we've been using in these projects on our web page at dylantalkstone.com. It's just links to, you know, I don't sell soldering irons, but it's just links to the stuff that I really like. And uh, you guys can go check that stuff out there. So let's bring that camera over here, get you an up close view, and we'll talk about how to solder a pot into a guitar. All right, so what we have is we have our Weller soldering iron. Clean our tip here in a minute. We have our solder. I just got a piece of it sitting here. That's the Kester solder that we use. And then we've got two Borns pots and a Tele control plate. Now, one thing I want you to notice, and you Eagle Eye viewers have already noticed it, that this Tele control plate is backwards. So the volume pot is here, the tone pot is here, and the switch is here. That's because this is actually a when this is finished, this will be one of those reverse ones where you have volume, tone, and the switch in the back. So that was requested by this customer. All right, so let's talk about soldering into a pot. Now I've already got all the wires pre-cut with the pushback wire. I've got it all pushed in there. Now here is the thing. Now we talk about having our work being very still. Now we have my famous door trim with the work in it, but what can happen a lot of times is you can have the wire move around in here. So we gotta be very careful when we solder this that we do two things. That we make sure that we heat up the leg of the pot, okay? So the leg of the pot has to be hot and then we have to solder this in such a way that the wires are not gonna move in the hole. It's that easy, it's done already. But I had to really make sure that the leg of the pot was hot enough before we soldered the wire. Okay, so the other one of the other difficult things when people do pot replacement in a guitar is the volume pot, because you have to uh, bend this tab back, or that's the way I like to do it anyway, bend the tab back and see there's a gap in between here. This comes down to having the correct amount of heat on the back of the pot. Now. This is one of the reasons why I like to use Born's pots. There's no mechanics in the back of this pot right here. This is just a can that comes down over the, all the electronics are on the bottom. So if you heat this up, you don't have any chance of melting it. CTS and some other kind of pots have a pin in the middle that sometimes you can melt that little pin or you can create problems with heating up that little pin too much. So let's go ahead and ground this volume pot. First of all, I'm gonna go ahead and put the screwdriver tip of my soldering iron on the side of the pot. Now remember, I only have this on three and a half over here, but you see how the amount of heat that I have available? And it's that easy. Now we're grounded. So then, when we go to take our pigtail for our output jack, I personally using pre-tinned wire, like to just stick this right in here. And then it's grounded. I actually like to ground my output jack to that lug. Okay, so we bent this wire and we made it to where it doesn't move around. So it's kind of like wedged in there. And then when we heat up the eye first, and then we add our solder. Bam. If you'll notice, the focus that I've given you here is to heat up the eye first, make sure the wire is not moving, and then add the solder. And then that'll come out this side, and there we have a reverse Telecaster control plate that is all ready to go. 
All right, so hopefully that was helpful. Really, again, it comes back to the same fundamental things every time. Proper amount of heat and making sure that your work doesn't move. And when we say our work doesn't move, we don't want the wire to move in the eye on the pot. Just pry it in there, bend it over a little bit so that the wire doesn't move around in the eye. Heat the eye first and then add the solder. Done. Little touch, even heat, it's all you need. My name is Dylan. This has been Dylan Talks Tone. Hopefully this helps you out with some little solder tips. Ha ha ha. Let me know if you have a question about soldering, about wiring, about guitar setup, about anything to do with guitars, and I will make a video. Leave that question in the comments, and I will make a video just for you.